What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, as well as Stellar Lumens. Recently, I have discovered a very interesting pattern that is forming in most of these cryptocurrencies that will better help us gauge which direction the coins are going to be moving to in the very near future. XLM is one of those cryptos that will actually help us better gauge the movements. So that's why we're going to be using this. And believe it or not, a lot of you guys commented on yesterday's video to continue to use XLM. Uh, unfortunately, we are going to be looking at other cryptocurrencies. So with that matter, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below as to what crypto you'd like to see viewed in tomorrow's episode. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial. Otherwise, let's jump right into today's episode. So guys, like I said, uh, yesterday's video, a ton of you guys commented which cryptocurrency you want to see viewed in today's video. A lot of you chose XLM as well, but tomorrow's episode, we are going to be doing something different than in today's video. So definitely make sure to comment down below which crypto you'd like to see uh, done technical analysis. Definitely make sure to comment that down below. Otherwise, to jump into today's episode, specifically, we're going to be looking at uh, a bunch of different technical analysis indicators in regards to the recent movement that has been discovered across most of these cryptocurrencies, and it will also better help us gauge the direction of the volume spike that's coming for crypto. As you can see, top 10 cryptos, everything is pretty much just fairly consolidating. I mean, even though they're up about one to 2%, it's merely just sideways movement. And I think that with this knowledge comes very interesting things on the crypto space. Just to look at all these cryptos before we dive into the technical analysis, you can see XLM has been trading fairly high on its moving average. On the four hour XRP has a very interesting movement. Ethereum, we have Bitcoin, we have Litecoin, and we have uh, obviously the S&P 500, which has hit the top resistance again after seeing new all-time highs. And we are currently correcting back downwards. Now, what's very interesting, and I think we need to view, is we need to start with Ethereum, as I believe Ethereum will help us figure out which direction uh, these markets are moving to. And I find this very intriguing. As you can see, XLM is pretty much just trading sideways on its four hour. XRP is hitting kind of a bump. We're gonna just look at these on the four hour again. It's trading slightly below its four hour moving averages and it's not really doing too hot. You can see Bitcoin doing the same as well as Litecoin. So I'm gonna start with Ethereum and then I'm gonna to jump to these other different cryptocurrencies. As you guys can check down below, you can see that you can skip around to the different sections of today's video and pick the cryptocurrencies that you wanna see. But I highly recommend watching them all as they all will affect each other and you shouldn't just base analysis on one cryptocurrency in specific. So looking at Ethereum, you can see a very interesting pattern is forming. On the four hour charts, you can see there was a major ascending triangle forming in the coin with a very big gap. And you can see when we base, you know, we can use the Fibonacci retracement here, gauge the size of this movement. You can see it's pretty much coming into a very interesting zone. Yes, we have yet to see the correction hit, but we are seeing fairly high levels and we could see correction back down to where normal retracement could be to. We could easily see a pump back down to about the size of the mouth of the opening. We could easily see a fall back down to support closer to 979. But before we dive into that specifically, what you need to focus on is the fact that this uptrend is setting higher lows. And this is the only cryptocurrency right now of the cryptos that we're gonna look at that is actually setting higher lows and has yet to breach the lower high formation. All the other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and the others are setting lower highs. This is more so a, you know, a reference to what could be a bearish correction. Now, Ethereum seeing differently um, is, is something we have to you know, spend quite a bit of time analyzing. Notice that with these uptrends, we are slowly filling the gap to which ends right about February 3rd. So from today's movement forwards, you can see this takes about, I would say, maybe nine days. We have uh, at most nine or 10 days of consolidation before we see which direction the coin wants to move to. So what's interesting is within this consolidation, yes, there's money to be made in regards to the movements that are happening. We can honestly see, granted today's it's only 
9 o'clock, 8.53 a.m., we could see retestment up back to this resistance, the all-time highs in the coin, where Ethereum is pretty much the only cryptocurrency doing so. And once retesting here, we could see movements back to the downside. And I want to draw this out for you guys, make this a little easier to understand. So grabbing the brush right here, you can see basically what I'm referring to. So we've had, um, you know, constantly retesting bottom supports, boom, 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 setting these higher lows, which is a great signal of a potential break to the upside. But you can see in regards to short term movement, potentially hitting the, the top resistance and correcting back down like this, then seeing the major pop or the major correction to the downside. So we are looking for movements like this to form filling the gap you know, first off, then we'll see the major correction right here, either a bullish break to the upside or a correction to the downside. But until then, we can pretty much gauge the directions and the movement the coin wants to move to. So you can see right now, the fact that we're kind of hitting this resistance here does show resistance. It does show uncertainty, and there's a good chance correction and a pullback back down to the uptrend, creating a new higher low is, you know, a very big possibility for today's video and today's analysis. There's a good chance even looking at the daily, you can see what I am referencing. You can see there's a clear, you know, resistance up top here and it doesn't really seem like it wants to break through there and there's a good chance within the next day we could potentially see a bearish correction back to the downside. How do we capitalize off movements like this? It's much easier to do so when we find these massive patterns forming here. Uh, it's very simple. We can short the market. We have Bityard pulled up here. I link Bityard in the description for you guys to take advantage of, but you can easily click like Ethereum and then sell it short by entering the amount of leverage. So let's say 15 times leverage, creating a short, let's say 10 times, or we're going to use a thousand margin. We could just click sell short and we're capitalizing on the corrections to the downside, easily a pull. If we breach the 20 day moving average right here, we could pull what I would think back to the 40 day moving average, which is about 9.3 which is exactly where the Fibonacci retracement had shown us as well as the recent support on Ethereum. So anticipate correction. If you guys just wanted to test your skills, they also offer a demo account, which is pretty cool as well. So to move on from Ethereum, as Ethereum does clearly show correction back down and then filling the gap here before we see any sort of major breach, this allows us about 10 days of consolidation. Looking at such XRP or XLM gives us a different view. When you look at XRP, you can see on its four hour, mainly just a downtrend where we've been setting lower highs. So unlike Ethereum, which was setting um, higher highs, or sorry, uh, setting uh, higher lows, um, XRP is setting lower highs, and this is a bearish signal. Ultimately, this is going to come to an end as XRP affected by the SEC filing lawsuit is eventually going to see some sort of breach indifferent from the rest of the cryptocurrencies. So with the consolidation that it's had for days now, literally days of just say, trading sideways in between, uh, I'd say 30 cents and 25 cents, and we'll jump to the daily just to show you guys this. You can see it's mainly just consolidating. There's really no big volume spikes. There's no big, you know, movements, big candles. We haven't seen any for a long time. This is an indication of some sort of volume movement happening very soon. So mainly to gauge reference for XRP, which has fallen fairly stagnant and people are losing interest in it, which I understand. This gives the actual traders time to realize that there's opportunity here. So before the break actually happens, we can get a general footing to figure out where the markets wanna to move to. So clearly we have a resistance at 30 cents. If we breach this, expect to see pull and movement up to 38. And if we see a breach below 26, I can't see us going much lower than I would say 23 or maybe uh, 20 cents at most. So I think XRP is pretty much the only coin that has finished first in regards to its bearish correction. And I think the other cryptocurrencies have a lot more to experience. And I think that's unfortunate, but there is opportunity to short that market. So looking at, you know, coins like XLM, uh, you can see what's interesting is we have this beautiful symmetrical triangle, the beautiful trends, it unfortunately broke bearish, we saw correction, we pulled back down to the four hour moving average. Now we're just consolidating on top of here. So we have to use other indicators to basically gauge the movements of which this coin wants to move to. Looking at the four hour, we're very close. So until we see a bearish cross on the four hour moving average, I think we're just going to be building consolidation. And what's interesting too is we haven't even seen a bearish cross on the MACD. So the signals are just showing consolidation. The coin is fairly strong. My only concern is in regards to seeing 
you know, prior trends on the coin, they tend to break bearish and there's a good chance that this is going to do the same. But notice every time we come back down to retest this uh, moving average here on the daily, we tend to see a bigger price rally than the prior one. So if we see, which is very likely a correction on XLM back down to the four hour or to the daily moving average, we could see some sort of consolidation and then a pop. And I'm gonna draw this out for you guys real quick. So anticipate, you know, maybe a retest right here and then we see an even bigger run to the upside moving forward in the future. But I think first is a retest of this uptrend here. So consider potentially shorting this if we do decide to breach previous movements, which you know really are, are new to XLM. And we might have to use other indicators like uh, XLM to BTC to gauge interest instead of using this on Coinbase. But um, I definitely believe that this is going to help influence the rest of the market. So with XLM showing signs of potential reversal, you could see XRP pretty much flatlined out. Looking at Bitcoin and Litecoin now, you can see they're pretty much not doing too well, you know, in, besides the other cryptos. So Bitcoin, Litecoin aren't really doing too hot. You can see Litecoin showing signs of a bearish cross on the four hour uh, moving average. Bitcoin is showing signs of a bearish cross on the moving average on the four hour. A lot of these coins are showing signs of potential correction. And with that comes, um, you know, potentially breaching down into bottom support. So I wouldn't be surprised by the end of today, if not by tomorrow's video, we see specifically Bitcoin retest bottom support here. And, and hopefully not break into here, but if we do, it's honestly not too bad. You can see there's a massive bullish uh, fractal or you know ascending fractal right here. The coin is setting you know lower highs. This is the unfortunate, what could be the start to the bear run uh, or correction to the downside. What we do have to spend quite a bit of time focusing on is in regards to the fact that there's a chance that we're going to retest this. If we manage to use this as a support, anticipate a retest like this where we consolidate in here. So, um, <clears throat> Honestly, we're looking for a potential correction. Expect to see prices on Bitcoin specifically correct us back down to the bottom support right here. Uh, you know, in regards to moving forward the next day or two, I'm looking to see a bottom retest of support again. Um, and then we could see a movement where we swing back up to retest this uptrend or sorry, this downtrend right here. And then, you know, basically fill in this symmetrical triangle and then decide which direction we're gonna be moving to. It looks like the coin wants to breach back down inside prior ascending fractal right here. If it does, then there's a good chance we could slowly consolidate back up to the all-time highs. That would be ideal and, and not just blast off with extreme FOMO like we're seeing now, but there's more of a chance that we're just going to see correction back inside of here like I've been talking about, which is good for moving forward. But in regards to short-term movement, anticipate retestment of bottom support here seeing a swing to the upside. So basically, how do we capitalize off a run like this? Um, honestly, let's see how today's candle you know, fills out. There's a good chance it's going to fall back down to retest 30,000. And then if we hold support above here and close the daily above here, there's a good chance we're gonna see a pull back up to 34. You can see it very easily on the daily right here, what I'm referring to. Clear support right here good chance it's going to continue to push downwards and then we'll see a swing back to the uptrend but until or to the downtrend right here but until then this is the pattern we're looking at and then we could see a breach back inside and retest this uh, daily moving average here otherwise guys that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video i mean uh like i said the s p is starting to see correction good chance we're going to set a higher low again and then see a higher high which is a great move for uh, bullish movements uh, but otherwise you know litecoin as well is looking to see potential correction back down to bottom support so i do think shorting the market right now is your best uh, candidate otherwise like i said um that's gonna wrap up today's video definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up and i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace